How's it going, folks? This is Nene coming to you with another game called Little Witch in the Wood. So I saw it on Steam. It looked pretty interesting, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see. New game. What the hell? Oh, look at the little girl. And oh, look, the hat has a face. I just see that right now. All right, what's going on? Wonder where the carrot was. Carrot. Just thinking. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. <laughs> what the hell? I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. What? Yes, there was. There are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. <laughs> what the hell? Carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I shall write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so bored. With the flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. A ticket for this train costs five, 500 pies. What? And it's stopped. The witch house in High Lo High Lion, High Lion, where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How oh, man, I second place anyway. I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice, <laughs> three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. <laughs> the witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine, enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't, I won't fool around the moment I get here. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? I am saying it right. The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Highland, Highline. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, dad also did that. Uh, they say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Lace up boots. Keyword game. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to Highline. Truth remains one. What the hell? Okay, that's how you do that. Interact. Bartender. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of tea. A cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? <laughs> but then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea? <laughs> Potato, potato. <laughs> Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Okay, keyword, conversations, okay. Want some water? What's this? Personal service. What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, I think it's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. <laughs> I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the school for witches. Wow, High Lion, huh, that's a right proper place, isn't it? So they say, that's probably why you got the train ticket for free. It must be someone special. I don't really care about the kind of thing, you know. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know. Yeah, later. Something's on your mind? Uh, chit-chat. Let me know if you need anything to drink. 
Want some water? I'll have something. Oh, special. Oh, they sell boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Highline Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers were all dressed up for Highline. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. All ye who reacheth Highline, look first upon thy shoes, or so that's how the thing goes. <laughs> See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots, right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating Magna. What? Magna cum laude? It sure is amazing you're graduating uh, despite your antics. You're gonna keep up the attitude of yours. <laughs> Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being bored won't be an issue. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring than you in your hat. You've been listening? The other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. <laughs> really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only, even a non witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? Well, you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. <laughs> In equ exquisite mind, you already got the making of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detective never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view your view. Ah. Oh, there you go. So we got this way. She walks so funny. <laughs> Up ahead is the engine room. Uh, let's see. We don't check the passenger's outfit. Even if you don't check it, it's inconvenient to get off if you're wearing sharpie boots. There are so many different types of clothing that could cause discomfort. I can't define them all. Then what about having a hard time taking off your shoes when you get off? They delays occur once in a while due to their shoes, but again, it's not regulated. I guess there's no fine. Isn't it a matter of harming social reputation rather than the fine? Is that so? Up ahead is... Okay. So I got that one, and then mystery person. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, this guy. Hello. Oh, hello. Huh. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I wanted to ask you about something. You're on the highway to Highland, right? Correct. Hmm. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh, my old habits die hard, especially when the one is in deep thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. <laughs> well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. What the hell? Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Well, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. And it will be hard for you when you arrive at Highland. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take, off your, sh take your shoes off when you get off. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny? <laughs> Mr. Bartender, uh, the mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now it's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highland for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't come for me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceives me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we arrive. We still have to, three more days to go. Three more days? That's such, that's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. What? What is it? Oh, you can't do anything yet because, you know. Alright, sit. Alright, now have some patience to stay seated. Seated. Ah. <laughs> what? So this whole time she's just going around asking about shoes? I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. 
It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Alright, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shiny tree at the top. A gigantic shiny tree? Why is it shiny? Does it have a luminous flower? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. <laughs> what? Bad chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any cro croco pants nearby? What the hell is that? Nope. What about bio constrictors? Oh, boy constrictors. There you go. This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? <laughs> hey, a bow, a bow constrictor. The correct line is what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a bow constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a bow constrictor. Please just say there's something massively critical issue. Please, please. <laughs> please. Man, and this character wants it. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like a little nice game, and this one, and the main character wants something to happen. I do too. I don't know what's going on. We apologize for the inconvenience, critical issue, perhaps. The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical. <laughs> critical, yes. Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning at the departure time. Can we go outside? Well, likely to be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go. I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember the shiny tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. A shiny tree. Ooh, we're outside. Oh, whoa, it's so dark. If you're so scared, if you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Okay. Memo. Ah, there you go. Saved. Oh, okay. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that. That's bad news. <laughs> what the hell? It's a secret passage, Virgil. I'd like to get a secret, pa a secret or a passageway. Passageway. Best there's a path behind, beyond there. Here, oh, man. What's going on with me today? What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkins. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forest areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if you find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light, when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Ah, so this is... Oh, what the hell? Look at that. One by one. Alright, let's roll. Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. <laughs> oh, cool, I can sprint. Finally, I can run. Whee! Look at me. Okay, what's going on? Witch flower? What's this? It's shiny. What's going on here? Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Alright, so what are we supposed to do? Oh, look. Shiny flowers. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what was the objective? Search for the shiny tree seen from the train. Okay. I got an ant. Cran apple. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. What's up here? Look, you can climb more. Dango ma mango. I did all the climbing just so I can read this. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing we have to go keep going up. 
Give me that butterfly. Come back to me. Yeah, he doesn't want to. All right, let's go. There's so many of them. Ooh, look, a key. Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a burial made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered into my head. Shouldn't be an issue long as it's drawn well. Oh, we found the tree already. That was fast. Wow, it's a gigantic shiny tree. The same one we saw from the tree train. Ugh. This is a bitter great tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shiny. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as an actual moonlight. That's why the strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterfly glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about the uh, what about those two being together? Oh, they're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and look green or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um. Anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. We fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go back. The way we came from, there must be other things. Strange things. Alright, I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. <laughs> I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should be made for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. <laughs> Look, the blue moonflower we saw at the... Uh, butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. Might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Miss, Mr. Graveyard said? Graveyard? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. <laughs> Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Approach it and use the quill, okay. Just face it and then okay. Oh, okay. Habitat and time of appearance. Okay. Two. Oh, okay. It tells you everything. Great. It's registering the catalog. Let's see. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Ah, okay. Tool. Hmm. So you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now then, but I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house is highland is more important. Huh. Let's get let's go back down then. Oh now there's gotta be something else that's fun. Look at me run. What? What is that? Maple herb. Okay. Yeah, I'm going down. Oh, okay. What to say? Why, am, why is there? Oh, what the hell is this? I don't know what that is. Nothing there. over here ah you can temporarily get rid of the vines with the weed terminator potion but they'll go back after a while then what do i do find the core it should be somewhere near the vine oh there's not much you can do there Let's see what else. I have not been that way. Let's see what's over here. 
un machou. Hey, what's that? You don't have the right chart. Oh, it's up here. Ooh. Can I do here? Nothing. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Retrace your path. Oh, so we're supposed to go back. Go, go, go. Alright, so we explored whatever was right here, so let's go back. Oh, look, I can't. Oh, wow. And it looks, go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil. A shiny white cat. I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to. Let's go after that creature. And then she's gonna miss the train. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I can't. Oh. Wait, can we grab it? Oh. Oh, me. I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? It looks like a witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern. It looks like a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same color, witch chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up earlier, let's draw it again with that. Should I draw the witch pattern again using one witch ch white chalk? Yes. All right, I drew the witch pattern. It just looks like a key. Huh, where did that cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we could talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there's are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? <laughs> That's true, but... What's over here? Oh, I can't go in over there. Anyone there? Is anybody there? It seems like nobody's there. <laughs> it could be an abandoned witch's house because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. What the hell? Whoa. It really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Ah, uh, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping to the outside. Oh, though that's my stamina, okay. House is a bit messy. We'll just stay for one day. Who cares? And then we're gonna miss the train. <laughs> hmm? What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that the actual, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What, really? Is it taking off already? It's hurry. <laughs> it really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. <laughs> and then she's gonna miss it. Run. You can make it. Didn't we come from here? Yeah, we came from here. That way. Huh? Where's the train? <laughs> that bird probably was... <laughs> no, it looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where's the train? <laughs> probably went to the highland. Like, then what do we do now? Look, look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. There goes that bird. What is that thing? It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quite. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. If 
find whatever should be quiet. Oh, look, a book. It's a letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend the night... Oh, spend time. Ugh. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send a knight and Arden my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil. <laughs> Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby. <laughs> That's all she's concerned. But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. I think it's what we passed. It's probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited we missed the train, remember? Right. <laughs> you heard me, right? Well, then I might as well add more to the ex in the mouth encyclopedia. <clears throat> Tuesday. It's Tuesday already? I thought it was Thursday. Look a whale. Hmm. Sticks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these sticks, but the sticks are everywhere. What was that? Oh. A bush bug. Can I grab it? No, I need a net. Oh, look at that. They look like little slugs. Squishy chub. I can pick it up. Oh, fur. Alright, where was I? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of the weeds first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all of these out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of weeds. Take a nap. Bin, 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 bin. There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there is a wonderful tool. He's gonna say your hand. What's that? Your, <laughs> of course, your hands. Aw. Oh, we gotta pull them one by one? Damn, okay. There's not that many, that's a good thing. Go, 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 go. Pull. Pull! Oh man, I'm already getting tired. All right, I think I read every, all of them, right? It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Ah, right. Oh, look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. She's really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. <laughs> my room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in the Lucerin R2. It's a witch bookshelf. <laughs> Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. <laughs> That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging, I read enough books at school. Hmm, witch history. The plant, the, tw the 12 plants, fun book of plants, gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. What about this book that's on the floor? 
Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. Finally managed to get out of school. Ah, there you go. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave fi don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. What the hell? You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. What? That's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. Where? What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. What the hell? Whoa, it's a new mystery down here. Wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We used it so many times to school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the instructor, instructor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the list first. Let's, let's look for one. What's this? Squishy. Oh, I know what I was. Oh, well, this is a pretty good cauldron. Cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. The style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. <laughs> Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly process ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with the proper potion. Craft potions. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I actually like Teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in the back edition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. What the hell? Everything's everywhere. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? We use them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. The spilled bottle, scribble paper, and the book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it used to be the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of the moon, the greens are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Uh huh. Where? Oh, right. Uh, um, I don't know what kind of text this is this. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Mmm, looks like a recipe. Seems like moons, something. I have no idea. I got a headache. <laughs> take a look if you remember later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Oh, okay. Alright, one more thing. A roost roaster? Uh, I hate this thing. Might have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yes. There's no handle for when you the spring. Where would I get a ro 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 roaster? Rooster? Rooster. Handle. I don't need the pot roaster. And since it's needed for the basic recipes, and there should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It should be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. Oh crap! I didn't even see this one. This one's already here too. The box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Oh, I'm done cleaning. I think we're pretty well equipped now. We can make potions now, even though it's only half as good as since I can't be processed. Let's try making some with the stuff we picked up earlier. Why? What do you mean why? Why not? I ask because people usually have reasons. We you need oh, okay okay the ingredients are witch flower extract and squishy chub fur okay two and two okay 
crafting order, put the in the extractor and squeeze the juice, put two witch fire in the extractor and squeeze the juice, set fire to stage four, stir the ladle, don't stir, pour in the right vessel, okay? Damn, a lot of things. Uh, okay. So this one. And that one. Press and hold to craft. Okay. Oh, cool. We terminated the potion to make best use of this potion. Is okay. Awesome, the stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. <laughs> it's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's look for the village for now. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must start at the little honey pumpkins and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because we, we because weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Change. Oh. Saving. Oh, okay. Useful. What should I do? Save. You cannot take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once per day. Well, she is very tired now. Two hours? Okay, how about one hour? these little guys for the fur what's this oh those little things again all right so it says we have to find a village is that a village how do we use it oh Go, oh, okay. There you go. Nice. What the hell is that? Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no. What do you what do I do with the extractor? First take a look around here. Am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? Wow, they are really big. Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. Hmm. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the hub, which is out for a while. Can I... No, I can't. Okay. Wazinius. Wazinia. Hello, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation. You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's a lots, there are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use a machine tool now. I must process what's been collected to make potions. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those should, would be enough to make curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her what? It's a glass bottle that could be a perfect glass extractor bottle. Where? Whoa, you're, you weren't kidding. All right, now let's make some. Oh, and did she just snatch it? I want him to receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check the candy that can lift the curse in the book. Uh, okay. Ah, there it is. Man, I have a lot of things I gotta do. Okay. What's down here? 
What's next? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go. There's something else to document. Oh, cool. Side quest completing and... Wait, when was it? Okay. So, we've got to make a candy now. Go, go, go. What's this? Yes. Alright, so... Uh... Here it is. You need squishy fur and maple. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, set fire stage to three. Stir the ladle. Don't stir. Okay. Uh. No, don't stir. Okay. And then it has to be at three. Then that one. There you go. Candy. Run, girl, run, run! Oh, wrong way, run! Go, 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 go! Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Give. Would you like to try this? May the blessing of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much to hell with nature. <laughs> I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet, I simply couldn't ignore much such a well-made wooden man image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right? But I could only praise nature. Pure torture. Hope nature just rots and dies. Dang, what the hell? So, I'm glad it was... Uh, I'm glad it, the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is or Ar 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 I don't know. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty bottle? Oh yes, there's a witch's house there. That's good. I have business in the village too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. <laughs> I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tool were, tools were broken when I was trying to use a dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for a winding for winding the roaster. Ro roaster, right? Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure, but Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me a pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy which tool with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Eh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make a sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are some people who buy them. I found it. Take this. Glass extractor. How much is it? <laughs> is this? Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank God. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any ro roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good, please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. Healing candy. Huh. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now we'll be able to fix the instructor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. Whee! I got things. Hey, what the hell is that? Can I mess with it? No, I can't. 
Pumpkin Terrier. What the hell? Alright, let's go put this thing with this thingy with another thingy. I'll put that thingy. It was... No, not that. It's this thing right here. Should I use the glass bottle I have for the extractor? Good, now I can use the extractor. We can finally make potions properly. And what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the gigantic prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you want, if you make wheat turmeric potion, you can get rid of a little honey pumpkin. Uh huh. I'll be able to get to the place that have been blocked. A little more, yeah. So the little horse. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. What the hell? All right. So well, it's getting interesting, folks. Uh, but we're gonna leave it there for today. We'll see what happens next time. It's already saved. Um. I'm enjoying it, you know, pretty nice. It's a little calm game for now, you know. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. There's <laughs> this one, there's probably not gonna be no fighting, we're just gonna be selling, going around, investigating, making new things, or oh, um, recording new things. I mean, sorry, but yeah, we'll see what happens next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. But until then, you guys have a good one.